Now, for a deeper analysis on the many challenges Haiti is facing, I'm joined now by Roram Chantal. He's a political science professor at Moncton University. Roram, thanks so much for your time. Now, reports on the ground are that, that competing gangs are carving up the Haitian capital, kidnapping, raping and killing at will. What can you tell us about the situation in Haiti right now? Uh, the situation is getting worse uh, uh, day after day, and the government obviously is uh, getting is being weaker, and that's why uh, now the international community is uh, taking action uh, in order to deploy an international uh, a military force in Haiti. But the Haitian uh, people, actually, uh, they fear that this international military force may not come to solve the problems, uh, uh, you know, the population of Haiti, um, uh, facing the population of Haiti. But instead, they're trying to deploy an inter international force uh, in order to uh, help the government, interim government, stay in power. As you say, Haiti's government, such as it is, has issued a distress call for an international force to help restore order. But foreign interve interventions have a pretty bad name in Haiti and a bad history as well. Tell us about that history and why confidence in global efforts is so low. You're absolutely right. For instance, I was working with the United Nations back in, 2000, uh, uh, in 2004, and I was in charge of organizing the deployment of the UN mission in Haiti. At that time, there was hope that that mission was going to help in Haiti recover. But instead of that, we know what happened, sexual abuses. And then the UN uh, mission brought uh, cholera to Haiti that killed thousands of thousands of people. And uh, they didn't do much for Haitian, you know, uh, suffering. So uh, instead, uh, as we uh, came to understand it, this international mission was there to help the U.S. and Canada, among other Western powers, uh, to uh, uh, actually achieve their uh, geostrategic goals in Haiti. And uh, they killed a lot of Haitians. So that's why, uh, despite uh, being uh, in that situation, desperate situation in Haiti, it's not me saying that, but the Haitian people themselves on the ground they oppose that mm -hmm. mission. They don't think they're going to help uh, at all. I mean, I've, e I've even interviewed um, independent journalists in Haiti who've come on this program and talked about this very issue, often saying uh, that Haiti needs to go it alone, that international groups need to be left out of Haiti because they've done too much damage as it is. But meanwhile, armed groups are brutally expanding their territory and elections are well overdue. So what options are there? That's, that's a good question. I believe, uh, as a Haitian myself, first and foremost, Haiti needs a legitimate uh, uh, government because the government that is in Haiti has been put in place by the U.S. and other members of the international community. The Haitians don't recognize themselves in that government. But first and foremost, they should put in place a government, transition, transitional government, that is perceived to be legitimate, and only that government should sit down with the international community and see what kind of technical and international help that would be needed, because it's true that Haiti cannot do that themselves. But with the government that is in place, the Haitians are not confident that this government can negotiate uh, on their behalf. Yeah, it's an absolute devastating picture, what's going on in Haiti right now, and I really appreciate your insight. Thank you for that. Roram Chantal for us, a political Thanks. science professor at Moncton University.